So welcome to St Mary's Shalford and our worship together on this Ascension Sunday where we mark the Ascension of Jesus and the risen Jesus who has conquered death and been present again with his disciples now ascends to heaven physically leaving his disciples. These times of physical absence we're living through and which many live through constantly of course not just during world pandemics these times are hard, bringing fears of being overwhelmed by weariness, loneliness, lack of mutual affirmation, lack of human touch, that are such human, such human needs. As this lockdown has continued, most of us have known something of loss during these weeks. I know for me I felt more keenly the ache and weariness too which comes from the absence of those I love past and present, including your absence, as I know not who is there when I speak continuously just to this tiny little physically present mobile phone, as well as my ever patient listening dog, of course, here, as we join in daily prayer and worship together. For many, the ache and longing to be with those we love who are physically absent from us takes on a form of grief, as does the loss of job or livelihood or home, or simply the loss of daily life with others in our church and community, family and friends. Maybe we only now realise how much these communities of belonging help sustain us and how we cherish them. For those who are living alone, whether in a single household or alone in a household with others, the absence of the simplest human touch, a simple hug, has been a growing ache to bear for many, of, for many people I know. Perhaps it's something of the grief in our sense of loss and longing for physical presence with those people or even places we love has prompted memories from our past to surface more prominently, including mourning the loss of loved ones who've died. And how agonisingly painful it is for those who've been wrenched apart from their deeply loved relative or friend as this coronavirus or, or another illness has taken them out of their reach, out of reach for their loving touch in the last days of their life together and are now left grieving alone. Where do we find healing and presence again in the love we shared before? We can't simply return to the past, but we can heal and transform into a new whole. And we can keep hope and love alive through faith as we wait in our brokenness. And so we begin here this morning in the Garden of Remembrance here in St Mary's Churchyard, a place where the ashes of many souls are buried, those who continue to be deeply loved, a place where many tears have been shed, a place of great beauty and stillness and peace, even in this wind that's going on quite wildly around me, a sacred space filled with the faith, the hope and the love of so many who've sat here and are buried here. A space where all creation seems to join in the beauty of new hope and the promise of a new wholeness. And we are here this morning on Ascension Sunday with the disciples and with Jesus as he physically leaves this world to ascend to heaven. Perhaps this morning we feel their agony in the physical absence of Jesus even more keenly as we feel the pain of absence. Yet we are not without presence, we are not without love. This is the Jesus born in us, incarnate, bringing divine love into this world, ever present in us and through us to each other. And this is the risen Jesus, still bearing the scars of crucifixion, bearing our scars and all our suffering humanity up with him now into the very heart of God. Earth is joined with heaven and heaven on earth as we pray together, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Christ is ever present, 
in our humanity and in our divinity. Nobody is without Christ's love and in no situation, no depth of pain or height of joy are we without the love of Christ present in our very core, affirming, embracing, loving us. Through the physical presence of others, but in their physical absence too, when we feel loss and abandonment, as we pray, come Holy Spirit, enlighten our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love. And it's here in these nine days between Ascension and Pentecost, where we join together praying thy kingdom come and praying for the coming of the Holy Spirit to fill us afresh. In our St Mary's Novena or nine days of prayer together in this space, in physical absence, we join the disciples again at the end of our worship this morning in our dismissal gospel as we sit with them in the locked room praying together through these nine days between Ascension and Pentecost. I hope you've received these nine prayer cards for our St Mary's Novena. Um, if not, please email me or see our website. The space on the backs too. Um, the space on the backs too um, for you to create your own uh, creative response in, um, in art, in poetry, um, in uh, your own written prayers, your own response uh, each day if you'd like to as we carry on through our prayer novena together. And it would be wonderful if you'd like to uh, send those in, any responses, so that we can share them together if we may. Through these prayers and prompts for reflection, or however you choose, I hope this week you can find space to just pause, to wait on God, to listen, to be guided and into transformation through God's love for your own life, and for our community and our church and our world. It seems such an important time to pause, to stop, to pray together, not least as the church here in the parish of Shelford as we pray for the Holy Spirit to guide us afresh in these transforming times. Next week at Pentecost, we'll come together for our first Eucharist back in St. Mary's again. Sadly, it'll only be filmed for us all to celebrate together again virtually, but it will be a start, a fresh hope. It'll be a great joining together in spirit again as we celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Spirit onto disciples in mission, setting the church on fire with the spirit of God's love. So thanks to Sarah for reading the gospel today amidst her own very rare breed of, of a flock, a rare breed flock of sheep. And thanks again to Bishop Joe, our much loved Shalford Bishop, who was long before lockdown in those old diary days um, that used to be uh, due to be physically present with us here today at St Mary's and how we wish that was so. But we're blessed in physical presence with virtual presence and Bishop Joe preaching so directly to us today from the attic, encouraging us on in our faith, in our prayer novena and in our waiting expectantly together as the Holy Spirit moves and transforms in our lives. So let us begin in prayer together. Let us pray. God so intimate and yet so distant, so close and yet beyond our grasp. In Christ you showed us your whole self, merciful, humble, suffering, transforming. In the midst of this global crisis, show us your whole self that we, like Christ, might be swept up in your ascended glory, in the ascended Christ and the power of the coming Spirit. Amen. So we join now in our opening hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns. <laughs> 